Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to another late night here on the East Coast. How y'all? <laughs> How y'all doing? Hopefully, pretty good. <sighs> Things are still crazy here, but what can you do, right? That's just that's the life we live. I'm just gonna scooch forward a little. Okay. One of our kitties got um her vaccines today. It's a little sleep. Needy. Hey, Foxy. Um, life's not good right now. Probably the worst I've been in a while. But that said, we just unlocked the Necromancer, which is kind of cool. I want to try them out. Um, I really enjoy the, the doing this desert strat. I don't know how that's gonna work with the Necromancer though, um, because we haven't played them. It's like, for example, like the battlefield tile is completely useless for the rogue. Let's see, I summon skeletons that fight instead of their master. Number and power of skeletons depends on their skill and equipment. Okay. You have no idea what's happening in this game anymore? Oh, the art is gorgeous, yeah. This is pretty cool, Fox. Um, let's keep going with our current Rat, because I like it. Um, and we'll see if there's some way that we can mess around with it. Cool. Well, I can walk you through it, Fox. Uh, we're still on Act 1. I think I, I might be ready for Act 2, but I'm not too sure. Uh, Act 2 is nasty. Changes quite a bit. Quite a bit up. Um... And I, I want to try the new class out before we go ahead. And also, it kind of this is one of those games that feels like um, your meta progression is very important. Um, and what I mean by that, like, is at the end of each run, when you make it back to base and you start upgrading things, it feels like these upgrades are like just crucial for you going on to the later difficulties. Um, so. Here's our, our little guy. I don't really know this class. Oh, I can't actually equip any of these. Right, because that's the warrior gear. And, well, you, you understand the basics, Fox. You know we walk around. Uh, this is a new class, and he's... Okay, so I summon skeletons as my attack. My skeletons attack stuff. It's kind of neat. Interesting. Um... I've kind of worked out a new build for cards. So how it works, <laughs> these new desert cards, they lower every creature's health by 0.5%. Um, the dunes will lower them by 1%. So that might sound crazy. You're like, that's you, that's the enemy, and it's max health. But how it works is I, I make the enemies have so little health that I kill them extremely quickly. Um, which, granted, I can also die very fast. But then I build around uh, regen and defense. Uh, defense was really killing. Like, that was my big strat for my warrior. And we don't have defense as a strat here. We'll have to see how this plays out. Um, but, but basically, we want to be killing stuff very fast. And we're going to make it so the enemies actually get weaker as the loops go on. Uh, but we're also going to be like extremely weak. Sure, we'll take some evasion. Not too excited about it, but it's something. So it's interesting. Um, we also have cards in our deck that... Let's see, we got our grove here. We also have cards in our deck that allow us... We go with that. Allow us to speed up time. And I've been kind of... I've built everything around the HP per day regen. See these tiles down here. Uh, the blooming meadows, they give us health at the start of every day 
you see that stat right here. That's three health per day. And the whole plan is just get a shitload of health per day, make the days go really quickly, and then, um, so I'm basically regening in between every fight. So the fights are over like lightning quick, and the enemies are, die extremely fast. But instead of, I usually build it so I, you know, heal in like two times. I heal like in the middle and I heal over here. Um, I make it so I literally just heal the one time. And I, I'm gonna drop our first village, right about yay, at this. And I think, actually, I'm going to drop a Vampire Mansion right now. I like it. Get a very early Count's Lands going, maybe. Be nice. Any questions, though, give me a shout, Fox. Um, these little things up here... There's a lot going on in this game, but there's actually kind of nothing going on at the same time, if that makes sense. Um, so... Up here, uh, as I pass through or place certain tiles, I'll get bits of resources. <laughs> um, for example, here I'm getting a ration. 12 rations make a whole food. So I basically just think these are fractions of resources, they're useless. Uh, and then if you collect uh, 12 or 20 or whatever an amount, you'll get a large one. You'll see that up here um, beside it. Um, but like right now we've reduced Max, oh, it's really pouring rain. Max health by uh, 3% for everyone across the board. So, kind of cool. So these fights might be a little difficult for us. But if they keep attacking the skeletons, might be okay. Huge skeleton level increase there. My skeletons are now much more badass, I would assume. I think attack speed's something we really want. Magic HP and defense. That's perfect. If I can get defense... Like, that that's, that's what we're really looking for here. Okay, amulets give magic HP. Oh, is this a bubble shield? Um... Because that's... That's even better. This actually works better than the warrior, then. If I can have, like, a shield that regenerates between fights. Oh, that's... That's huge. Okay. Well, I, I like this little sand strat, anyway. Uh, I think I'm going to throw a vampire mansion. Ugh, I kind of hate putting it down here. Where are we going to have our next set of villages? Probably here. So we do want to be fighting vampires right now to get some loot. Okay. Ooh, summon quality. So less bubble shield, but I get some regen and summon quality goes up 21%. Sure. Well, that sounds interesting to me. I'll check that out. Um, let's get some vampires over here as well, question mark. <laughs> Not really sure what the summon quality does, but I definitely prefer that to evasion. Look at that going. Uh, I don't really want ghosts here, actually. I think I'm okay with ghosts here. I want the treasure early, but I should have put it up here in the corner, but then there's a chance it'll spawn at the end of the loop. And here's... Uh, we haven't actually seen the full strat yet, unfortunately. I'll show it to you when we get a few more tiles going. Yeah, that bubble shield's huge. Huge! That really lets us break this. Uh, regen, I don't really care. Okay! Skeleton Warrior. 
I guess that's what the summon quality is, just a chance of summoning like better um, minions, kind of neat. So the other thing I've been doing, Fox, yeah, it's cool how you make your own map, totally. And I love how the cards you bring really let you plot out some cheeky stuff. So these are the Chrono Crystals, and like I said, well, this is actually a little bit different now. Um, now that I understand a bit more about the Necromancer, we'll see if this is something I keep going with. But I love these deserts, and like I said, this HP per day is very important to us. So what I do is I take these Chrono Crystals, I'll throw them, I don't know, um, right here, for example. And then I'll place meadows next to them. And they double the effect of a day passing. So I'm now getting six health per turn, or per day, from each of these meadows, instead of usually two or three. So it's kind of it kind of bonkers, actually. It really works out. And I haven't got the building yet that lets me uh, cheese things yet. I do you like more summon quality? So I have a 47% chance, it looks like, to summon a... Uh, hey, Yanks, what's going on? To summon a Skeleton Warrior as opposed to a uh, just regular. First two Skeletons summoned in a day will be strengthened. Plus one to max number of Skeletons. So the thing is, we are going for days. I think plus one max Skeleton seems huge. Drop my blood grove. So you can see right now we're at 79 out of 241 health. When this day ticks over, that's going to pop back up, which is going to be nice. I uh, definitely need more attack speed. That's a problem right now. There you go. Attack speed, defense, and skeleton summon level. Yes, please. Shittier skeletons, actually better. Attack speed and defense, you're on. Yeah, these skeleton warriors are huge. This one's just raw skeleton level. Okay. It's like, at what point do you swap over there? That's going to be a tough one. Yeah, I'm... I actually like the um, the warrior a lot, uh, but I've been playing around with some new. Car oh, okay, baby. I've been playing around with these um, these desert tiles. I really like them. I really like how this lets you play the game. So right now, Fox, we're at minus 4% health for every enemy. And we're just going to keep on keeping on. And see, this is what I've been doing, is using the deserts, because it doesn't actually matter where you place them, in conjunction with the meadows, um, to give me, like, cool uh, chrono crystals. So, like, I'm healing for crap loads every day. Where's my next Chrono Crystal gonna be? Doesn't super matter here. So... Yeah, probably there. Oh my god, Skeleton Guard! Okay. So now you can... You're, you're about to see, basically, the linchpin of my strategy is I'm dropping these guys down and um, we're going to get our second village I think things are a bit too rough to go for another count's land
this one pops next loop though. Oh, that's spicy. Spicy meatball, let me tell you. Okay. So we can cheese it. We don't have to place the village. Thing is, do I want to heal now? I don't need to. I'm gonna have to destroy the bandit camp. Do I want to heal now and get a quest? Hmm, that's tough. I think we're okay. We got tons of healing coming. So let's go ahead and just drop this. Uh, actually, I don't need to get rid of the bandit camp as long as the count is there. Okay. Should be fine. So these guys here, these are time watchers. Um, they're gonna spawn in and just put like little shields on all the minions. They're assholes. You can scare them away with putting vampires, but then you have to deal with vampires. So you have to decide like, ugh, what's more annoying to me, right? Uh, better summon level, some quality, less attack speed and defense. I think we go with it for now. We're at 72% summon quality, so should, we should always be getting good guys. So bandit camp won't attack as long as the count's land is there, so I can save my oblivion for something more annoying. Um, since I don't do mountains anymore, because I actually intentionally tank max HP, uh, we we don't use our oblivions really, so it's kind of it's kind of interesting. We can keep it around, do some spicy stuff with it. Um, and then this is the other major part of my strategy I was talking about: is these temporal beacons. Um, I take everything that can increase the amount of like the, how fast the day passes, so that I'm naturally regening like shitloads. Like you see, right now we're regening 27 HP per day which is 13% uh, for max HP, which is huge. Plus we're getting this bubble shield, which is cool. I didn't account for that. That just makes it a little sweeter. Uh, but watch the day progress here, uh, top left. Like you see that? It's insane. And it's still ticking up pretty fast in a fight. And then just So as long as you can keep within these, you can just keep shooting your fucking health up. Uh, it's super good. And when you don't have any max health, like 27 HP per day, if I had 500 max health, not very interesting. But if I'm keeping everyone on no health, which is my plan, um, Chrono Crystals, um, then I can... Like, I, I get more benefit from small amounts of healing, essentially. So it's really interesting, but I like it. It's been working out for me. This is the only annoying thing about this guy. If you, if you don't kill him and he takes some hits, you just piss off. Um, the shield he puts on is actually not too bad. It sounds worse than it is. And Chrono Crystals and Meadows, I find, are just insanely good. Um, you can also use them... I actually want more rat dogs spawning here. Well, let's get that going. We want to get our blood growth fed so we can start getting fat loot off the blood golems. I need more max skeletons. I'm glad I took the perk for more. But I, I need even more than this. I think this is when we finally swap our amulet. Kind of kills me inside, losing the summon quality, but the amount of bubble shield we're going in with. Actually, I don't need to right now. Things are looking good. This is going to be our hard fight here. Um, so if I start feeling nervous at this point, then we'll go ahead and do it. This is insane, though. Oh my god. Uh, I do want another blood grove, and I want it... Hmm... Uh... I'm actually not going to need it here eventually. 
Over here is going to be good. Because we'll have a few um, skelly boys. Seems fine. Again, this ghoul fight is going to be nasty. Uh, we're going into it knowing that. Oh, here we go. So more max HP, more skeletons. So our skeletons would be less quality, but we get plus one. I think that's pretty useful. Um, no, we're going to keep our current book. I would love attack speed, like just more attack speed on stuff. But unfortunately, I think we're going to need the heal here. Um, that's going to fuck it up. So let's change our mind and put our heal. We don't have to place it yet. I'm going to hold off. I'm not sure where I want this village. Straight up an upgrade to that. More max skeletons here. And attack speed. But shittier skeletons. I don't know, that's kind of tough. Hello. So, we'll, uh, same attack speed, some regen, some summon level. Quality. That can go. What's your attack speed? 12, right? It's pretty huge. Yeah, let's just throw that there. I feel like attack speed's a lot more valuable to me right now. Um, so if we, if we get a ring that's just like 20 attack speed and nothing else, I'll, I'll put that on. Temporal beacon. Pretty much the whole map's good. Doubled up. Three uh, times loop HP after a skeleton's death. That's kind of cool. Plus 0.25 to skeleton level for a loop, starting from the loot when it was. Uh, that seems really good. Better skeletons? Yeah. Down. I think we're looking fine. I, I don't even think this fight's. It's gonna be nasty, but. We don't need to pop our treasure yet, we're doing good. So now that we have two villages, we're definitely throwing one here. And... Go through hell, heal up. There's probably something to be said for dropping one here. And we are going to get rid of that bandit camp. Because I don't have the, uh, the count to look after it. Question is, where are we dropping this next battlefield? And that I don't know. So this is our hardest fight. If we survive this, we're good. It's gonna be our hardest fight for a while. Yeah, and this is the one we were worried about, so. This seems like kind of class, though. There's there's actually too many. It's funny because in, in theory, there's there's actually less things I'm looking at here. Um, but th there's so many more stats that matter, and that's uh that's a bit of a a tricky situation. So one thing we haven't done is worry about this. Uh, our boss is going to spawn here. I need two more tiles. I need a grove here and probably a cemetery here. That'll be fine, though. 
One thing I've noticed too, um, if the Watcher puts a shield on a quest bot or a quest mob, they get more shield than a normal mob would. So that's kind of cool. So I lose a, a tiny bit of skeleton level and stuff, but I get a bit of attack speed. I think I'm okay with that. Like 20% attack speed's feeling pretty good right now. So the only thing with the desert is it's so easy to place the desert. <laughs> that I find I just drop a thousand of them. And, um... It's a new ring. Plus one max skeleton. Kinda cool. I think we're good on skeletons. Um, but yeah, so I was gonna say, the problem with that is I, I end up, like, filling up this super fast, and usually by loop five or six, I've summoned the boss. Uh, which, you know, it could be fine. Could I take the boss right now? I don't know if I have the attack speed to get my summons out before the boss starts beating the shit out of me. Maybe not. I have the Oblivions to delete his thing. Um, yeah, I'm not going to pop that till after. We'll drop another Chrono Crystal here. to bring home. Fun. Game's not giving me a ton. Uh, let's see. Around the world achievement here. Complete 100 loops. Cool. I mean, we're still doing fine. This is going to be messy, but that's what we were planning on. Like, we're definitely good for this loop. Uh, I'll probably pop the treasury this loop. It feels like we're stagnating a bit. Cemetery here. This is also going to be a very difficult fight for us. So if we survive this, I'm feeling very strong. And you can see this is where we need the attack speed. We're just not killing... Um, like, we're just not summoning the next skeleton. Or the last one dies. Uh, which is obviously bad. And that's why I always go for flesh golems, as you just saw. Like, if you can survive one of these really nasty fights, holy shit, right? Like, look at that. Okay. So, better summon quality. No attack speed, though. Not super exciting. Okay, better skeleton level, some quality. Um, actually, worse skeleton level? No, better still. Some regen and defense. Meh. Wow, just huge skeleton level on that one. Just take the sick raw stats? Maybe. Okay, I think we're gonna drop the plus one max skeleton, and we're gonna go for the bigger bubble shield here. The evasion's kinda meh. But skeleton quality is kind of cool. And that'll be an easier thing to swap out. Yeah, I I really just need another attack speed ring. It's going to be so hard for me to get rid of that. Ooh. Or attack speed necklace. Hang on here. Hang on, let's just finish this fight real quick, shall we? Things going down. Let's 
16% attack speed. Yes. So now I can swap this ring out if I want. Um, 8% plus some skeleton level. Yeah, you've talked me into that. Okay. So that's kind of spicy. Uh, temporal beacons, we don't really need actually. Pretty much everything's covered in them. Go ahead and drop our sand dunes though. Off this bad boy. Yeah, nothing too exciting, so... I don't mind the fact we held off on that. Anyway, this, this has been my kind of weird little strat, though, with the Chrono Crystals. Like, look at this, 99 HP per day. We're at 75, which I know looks rough, but this day's gonna tick in a second, and then we're full again. Um, I could wheat field this village for shits and gigs. Sorry from that, we're chilling. Probably be loop, loop six we fight the boss, it looks like. Oh, RNG! Okay, we got a taunt boy out. And the day ticked, it's fine. I guess they're not guaranteed 20% attack speed, though. Oh my god. Get in there. They're not, they're not guaranteed to hit your skeletons. Holy shit. What an attack. So it looks like these enemies have attacks that go through our shield. Uh, which I also wasn't expecting, but... Kinda spicy. Definitely need more skeleton level. So, do we drop even more skeleton quality? <sighs> I don't know, man. That's that's rough. Can we just take this raw 4.3. Fuck it, right? Should be an easy book to replace then. Like, taking, like, gray weapons is always fine, because it's so important in this game to have, like, raw weapon stats. Alright, what do you got? Three strength and skeletons will be joining the hero on every loop. Oh, okay. Resource cap in the expedition is increased by 50%? That's pretty spicy. Or time flies 15% faster. That's huge. Uh, I would normally take Axis Tilt, um, but our Bubble Shield's kind of doing a lot for us right now, so I think we're going to go with Horde. And hope that works on the boss, because I feel like we're going to need that. I'm actually worried about the boss, which I'm not normally. See the um oh this still hasn't popped over. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough fight, this one. But if we survive it, you know. <laughs> Always a chance. As long as we can attack faster than the boss can, we're gonna be okay. In theory. 
This is our toughest fight. Right here. Probably even tougher than the Flesh Golem. Maybe not. Um, okay, this is fine. They attack, they don't hit quite as hard, although we did increase our skeleton level by quite a bit. Because I assume that doesn't increase every loot. Uh, well, it does actually for us, because we took the one for... I feel like our drops have been not amazing, but I also don't really know what I'm looking for either. Um, and I feel like just this raw attack speed is kind of doing stuff for us. We just have to hope that the boss doesn't target us. That's really what it comes down to. Avoids us, we'll be okay. If I get a good, um, a good tome for a second ring there, it's possible. Possible I do the fight. Uh, okay. So down 0.5, but even more attack speed. In some region. The region's negligible. I don't know. That's a tough one. Yes, we can pick up here. This could be something. I don't think more max skeletons is gonna help. Like I don't I don't think the boss is gonna allow us to have even two of them up at once. I'm really hoping for something out of this. Hmm, here's a treasury. We could Probably pop it right now. One, two, three, four, five. No, we can't. Might be able to after this fight. Okay, let's summon the boss, and if we have to run, we have to run. If we start getting hit at the start of the fight, Jesus. Ugh. No. No. Oh man, I hate it. I feel like this is our, sadly, our best bet, though. <laughs> Just not enough, eh? That's a fucking rip. Uh, we do not heal before the fight, I don't believe. Let's try it. Let's see what happens with our upgraded uh, skeletons. And as soon as the day ticks, we're gonna heal the full. How's it possible? That's right, bitch. Summon skeleton, please. Summon skeleton, please. Okay. There's a chance. Okay, it's not. He oh god. Like, we took one hit from him. <laughs> Nonsense. This is impossible for so many reasons. I don't understand. 
Next time we'll try something new on this punching bag. Alright, so yeah, I'll, I'll take that, thanks. And I will retreat. Everything we need. Not too bad. What do we get here? Orb of Unity. Hmm. Separation made whole. A way to become more than just the sum of your components. Order made from chaos. Cool. Build our smelter now. I was excited for this. Uh, okay, it's gotta be next to that. Looks good. Yo ho ho! What a nice smelting barrel. Throw in some more coal. Scrap metal away. Hey lad, you know what the secret of sturdy armor? It's a sturdy body beneath it. Nice. Aha, I can make everything sturdier. Even a simple shirt or some socks, which you prefer. You'll travel far, you'll travel far under a sail like this. No storm will stop you. And you know why? Because the storm will be on your side, laddie. Uh, honestly, socks? Yeah, that'd, that'd be sick. Uh, so part of me wants to build this mud hut. Seems cool. Watchtowers... Uh, the watchtower I don't understand. I feel like it's just bad. River, I need more of these... Um, orbs of chain. Orbs of unit. What do we use the food supply for? Oh. Uh, mud hut, yes. We're one step closer to proudly calling our humble camp a village, even though it's just a shelter half covered in mud. But we are really grateful. People are very exhausted, both physically and mentally. Some private space to call home will bring some happiness. It's true. What's the upgraded one do? More item slots. Okay, chill. Um, surely all these aren't unlocked. There's got to be a bug. Really? Plus one HP after killing an enemy's... Okay, there you go. Right click removes an item. Okay, so we only have so many slots overall, but these, okay. Hmm. I mean, I use a lot of vampires, so I like stacking vampire stuff. Plus 1% base HP for every food item placed in your camp. That's interesting. Plus one the max potions, it's pretty good. Oh yeah, finding rare stuff is nice. Dinner tables heal one times loop HP for passing a campfire. It's not very good at all. It's actually, it's actually shit. Plus one defense? Hmm. Interesting. More potions seems kind of more good. Five more health when passing through a village? Interesting. Six percent chance to redirect the lightning from the storm temple or magical attack to a random enemy. Kind of neat. I don't know, maybe just more potions? I kind of like the 5 HP when passing through a village, it seems nice. Okay, let's go with that. Okay. So Storm Temple in the Arsenal. Creates an additional item slot, but lowers item quality by 15%. Ew.
I mean, I don't think that's actually all that... Seems overall better, maybe. We'll have to see. Uh, Storm Temple. Strikes two random targets in its range of lightning every five seconds. Lightning cannot be evaded. What? That's fun. That said, though, let's take this, because we know this works and I like it. Let's try Act 2 with the Warrior. See what happens. We're looking for defense, we're looking for... Oh, so I have to place this card? Oh, that's cool. I guess uh, right next to the town's fine. So what, what, what did I unlock? The hat? Oh yeah. Retaliation damage, four. Oh my god, cool, we're getting hats now. This is a whole new stat. So I deal four damage when something hits me. Oh my god, and you can get attack speed and evasion. Yeah, no, this is huge. I'm sorry, Kiki. I'm just adjusting my legs. No. Uh, evasion, thank you. Rapier, we like it. Alright, well, let's get our cemetery going. Um, I guess here for now. Kind of had real bad drops for... I find this happens on Act 2. I just do not get items I want. Not items, but like I don't get cards. Yeah, but lap cat, yeah. Okay, I think we are going to. Is this too risky? Okay, we're gonna do it. And I'm spawning it here instead of behind me because I actually want to fight these guys. Like, we really need the cards right now. Um, I'm gonna chrono crystal over here. I want the cemetery to pop. It's gonna be like nasty overall for us with the fight, but yeah, we we want to do this fight though because we need XP and we need loot. Uh, it's just it's gonna make things harder overall. But didn't like that, but that's okay. Bats. See, that, that already paid off. Okay. okay, we'll get our grove built here. Uh, we're going to want to Chrono Crystal the grove as well. Because I like having a ton of enemies to fight early. Oh my god, that's cool, a crack skeleton. 90% less damage from archers. It's random. Um, honestly, kind of like the one defense. Not gonna lie. Oh, I fucked that one up. Treasury going, we like it. The problem with this boss is I, I actually I don't 
don't know what to expect. Which you'd think would be a good thing, but I'm a little nervous now. <laughs> So far, so good. We're gonna do our one hard fight, come out on top, keep going. We need blood groves, That'd be very good. Oh, there you go. Ask and ye shall receive. It's not actually how life works, but you can try it. it worked right now, and that means it'll work sometimes. The retaliation damage is very cool. I like that a lot for this class. a potion, but I think, I think we're still looking good. We make it through this with only using one potion. 14% uh, attack speed, yeah. And I gotta go for that 14 retaliation, that seems pretty crazy. Uh, we're only healing one off the vampirism, so I'm just gonna boost our damage here. Okay. Uh, temporal beacon. That's good. That's good. Probably here. Because this is going to be a tough fight, so I want to have some healing afterwards. But ideally, we want like everything covered by it. Uh, attack speed and evasion, yeah. level up here? Wow, fuck. All these suck. Um... I think... Uh... Like, yeah, they, yeah, they all just suck. Um... Probably going somersault here, but I hate them all. We, I mean, I, I, we could take blissful ignorance and delete a bunch of. But I got nothing to delete, man. So that is brutal. Um, I guess we'll go somersault. Because the thing is, we're not going to hit item cap for anything. Because on Act Two, item cap is twenty, um, and we're we're. Not even gonna be reaching that, even if I try, I don't think. Where do I need this grove? Need one here. Okay. I really like the synergies I've, I've got playing around here though, with the chrono crystals. I think that's working out quite a bit for me. Okay, this is vampirism and stuff. I think I prefer just the raw defense. Uh, this is much better damage. Yeah. Yeah, it does feel, though, on the later act that you just do not get um, as many, like, cards. I mean, I know I just got a million there, but not ones that spawn enemies. 
which is ultimately what we need to start scaling up. Depending on how... So... Oh, that's nice. I what these things are called, like a fluted helm, but I love them. Uh, attack speed... Regen versus attack speed and damage to all. Yeah, I think I'll go for it. So a little less... A lot less retaliation damage, but damage to all and regen? Meh. Be fast. So here's the thing. Um, vampires... I think I'm going to throw vampires... Throw them here. But that's looking like... It's fine. So depending how bad this fight goes, we might be popping a treasury this loop. Otherwise we're aiming for next loop. Oh, uh, we're fine. We're doing just fine. So this is a... The enemies are now starting to get abilities. You'll see the ghoul now is eating corpses, healing 25% of his health. Little bastard. That's okay, though. Seven, yeah. Uh, Blade of Dawn, absolutely. Blade of Dawn is huge for our build. Which is just make time go fast and good things from it. So less retaliation damage, but magic damage on our actual attacks. I like it. Oh, I fucking love Blade of Dawn. Aren't Jesus is doing stuff right now, Origami? It's being a little mean, but at the same time... I can't go for another Count's Land, because we probably aren't going to make it back to loot. Um, it'll be 7, I think, when this cleans up. 7 or 8? Race 7. Uh, I can't go for that, unfortunately, so just have to have this be a heal. Yes. Like I said, I don't want to pop the treasure yet if I don't have to. We're going to need another village over here, probably. Perfect. Is this... This is always going to be the worst. In fact, we might even just... Um, drop the village here. There's going to be a grove here is the plan. Um, but th this is always going to be hell. Like, this blood grove is just the nastiest fucking part of our journey. But that's how we've designed it, right? So... So as soon as I start the next loop, yeah, perfect. Uh, we're gonna pop this. Bingo. Okay, cemeteries. Good. That's good. Uh, I don't care about any of this stuff. I don't think. All sucks. We haven't popped our first blood grove yet. That's when things are getting spicy. We also don't have our time wizards out in full effect, so that's making me sad. Uh, I don't like that. It's almost, almost the day. There she is. Okay, so like I said, th this is always going to be like, ugh, a brutal fight for us. But we don't have to worry about that till we loop back around. Running out of potions, which you like to see. It's fine. We've got our heals now. I'm really glad, yeah. That was the right call. Not going with the um, second vampire thing. It would have been too much. 
Oh, the, the ghost, like, freeze me or something? That was kind of weird. So, more retaliation damage, damage to all, more attack speed, regen. Yeah. More damage, less attack speed, though. And those those little bats can get really rough. So more damage vampirism, but no attack speed. Bunch of attack speed here. Do some evasion though. Our evasion's kinda shit as is, so let's do that and then let's drop the attack speed on the sword. I think start grabbing some vampire. Man, our damage is so shit right now. It's better just to go for the raw damage from this thing. Uh, it is about to be the day, which is nice. Sucks this guy spawned at the wrong time there, but I don't know. Max speed and vampirism, I'm in. Oak bed, that's kind of cool. That was just really unfortunate timing with that spawn. Fuck. That's GG, I think. Yeah. You're forgetting skeletons are so nasty on this mode. Uh, let's go ahead and take all. We got tons of these uh, skulls. So that strat might not work as well on Act 2, but it was going pretty good. It's just, we weren't getting enough monster spawns early. Um, and it's like, it it's a problem, right? Like, as soon as you don't get any for the first two loops, then it, you're compounded on how far behind you are. Um, the arsenal is pretty cool, though. I like that a lot. Not expecting that. Ancestral's Crypt. Oh, you can only take one or the other, eh? Makes sense. I do want to play around with the Storm Temple. Um, so for Act 2 right now, it feels like... It, it feels like you just cannot do these big AoE fights. Granted, like, there's not a lot of AoE in the game, but I mean, like, you can't really do the fights where you fight four of something. You're just getting, like, slapped around. And that makes sense, but in Act 1, like, that's how you do it. Or at least that's how I was doing it so well, as I was getting, like, those groups of four rat wolves, and you just spank them. Right? But now it's a... So this is a little interesting. It's like... If that's the case, are road lanterns more important, right? Do I do I need to be spreading the monsters out more? Um, which is fine. Problem is like, then you're dropping these. So what are you not placing? Do I need to? Maybe part of my thing is maybe I just need to have like more cards that summon monsters, like spider cocoon. Um, and then maybe I'm just placing, like, instead of creating, like, like, tough areas, just spacing it all, like, gently. Like, making it very gentle on myself. Maybe that's something we need to look into. Uh, there's also a possibility there, like, I have Battlefield. Maybe I should actually use Battlefield to summon the blood clots. I usually don't, but it might be worthwhile looking into. Uh, that said... I think I'm gonna take off for now. Um, I'm planning to come back, but you know me. Might not happen. Uh, I'm just gonna go hang out with Kaylin for a bit. Uh, it's good. It's good getting back in the habit of streaming. But when I come back, uh, I don't know if we'll be doing more Loop Hero. Uh, if I do come back tonight, I think 
I'll either round up people for like Valheim or something, or I'm going to start some Blood uh, Brothers. Uh, is it Blood Brothers or ba Battle Bro Battle Brothers? Sorry, something like that. I've really been craving Battle Brothers. I just need to sit down and, and get back into it because um, I think it's an amazing game, but it's just hard as shit. So <laughs> you know, it's like one of those things like. You don't just like go into it like with an hour of your night and go like, yeah, we'll see what happens. You go into it like, okay, I'm going to get soul crushed for three hours. But after three hours, what have I learned? And did I learn enough? And have I screwed myself too much? Uh, and I know that's not for everyone, but I enjoy it. So yeah, um, good night for now, everybody. And hopefully I'll see you back soon.